Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and, ex and submit extraneous materials. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I rise to discuss the threats facing conservative speech in this country. When members of government take it upon themselves to declare certain speech illegal or undesirable, they effectively silence opposition. This isn't the American way. We've seen this kind of censorship in Saudi Arabia, Communist China, Soviet Russian. We never want to see it in America. Tonight, we're gathered to call attention to a shocking coordinated attempt by progressives in business and government to suppress dissent, stifle debate, and threaten free speech. Last week, one of the largest satellite TV providers, DirecTV, chose to deplatform Newsmax from their lineup. Newsmax is the fourth highest rated cable news channel and is watched by more than 25 million Americans. This decision means that more than 13 million homes will lose access to Newsmax programming. Two years ago, Democratic members of the Energy and Commerce Committee wrote to AT&T and DirecTV encouraging the censorship of One America News, Fox News, and Newsmax. Two years later, two out of three of those networks are now deplatformed. One year ago, after pressure from Democrats, AT&T and DirecTV removed One America News Network from its programming, and now DirecTV has removed Newsmax. The Energy and Commerce Committee has immediate jurisdiction over the business interests of DirecTV. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand why AT&T and DirecTV felt pressured to comply with committee demands. Simply put, Democrats in that committee disagreed with the content coming out of One American News Network and Newsmax and decided they wanted them canceled. This is a clear case of free speech infringement and viewpoint discrimination. Government colluding with telecommunications giants should chill us all. We are facing a concerted, unabashed effort to shrink the limits of debate by corporations in an unholy alliance with political activists and their government avatars. These companies have become willing prosecutors of dissent. Woke corporations are actively interposing themselves between Americans and the conversations they need to have. Why? Because they're afraid. Afraid that the lessons they learned in progressive universities won't stand up to objective scrutiny. Afraid that vigorous debate breeds societies of citizens, not sheep. Above all, afraid that if they cannot anoint themselves enlightened arbiters, their ideas will just have to stand on their own merits, like the rest of us. I urge my colleagues across the aisle to rethink their desire to silence opposition. The people who want to silence opponents are people who can't win debates. I urge American businesses to stiffen their spines and stand up in favor of free speech and open speech. We acknowledge that we may never know the exact mindset of the decision makers who decided to join hand in glove with progressives' drive to silence their opposition. But what we know is more than enough. Democrats asked and direct TV delivered. Progressives spoke up and One American News was silenced. Newsmax is now on the chopping block. Where does that leave us? Under the lengthening shadow of censorship or at the beginning of a new era when freedom fights back? I know what side I will be on. Which one will you join? I yield three minutes to my colleague from the Tar Heel State, Mr. Bishop.